and a more natural tone on your lippy. OK. Leave it with me. I'll speak to Stacy. OK. Bye. I should have had this thing months ago. My life is so much simpler. I thought you said you're only going to use it for work. Not for your social life. No, 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 no. That's what my mum and dad said. I simply happened to nod at the same time. Come on. Work, social life, what's it matter? You'll have to pay. Well, then I'll just have to take care of the bill, won't I? At least you've got a social life. Mine is totally non-existent. Oh, listen to this, my horoscope. Your life has hit rock bottom. As if I need to be told. So it's time for a big clean out of all things old. But cheer up. A tall, handsome stranger will bring new interest into your life. Oh, you're right. As if that's about to happen. These things are such... Hello? Trash. Yeah, hi. I was wondering if Alison was at home, please. Nice to see you again, Worm. Sorry, Dan. We were hurried to get to training. Not before you and I sort out a bit of unfinished business, starting with this. You broke it when you pushed me over. What are you going to do about it? I can ask my mum to get fixed. Wrong answer, Mummy's boy. I want a new one. And guess who's buying? Or else. Look what's on, Stace. Yeah, great. No, I can't this afternoon. I'm at the circus. Thanks. But how about Saturday? Yeah, great. Oh, oh can you make me tomorrow by my lockers and I'll have Stephanie's notes? She owes me... $60. No, no, nothing. I, I've got to go. Bye. So, can I retire yet? Mum, could you lend me some money? Yeah, probably. Depends how much. Mm, $20? Well, that's an awful lot of money, Mitch. I'd have to know what you want it for first. Well, it's for... Mm, don't worry. Sure I can't help? OK. I'll just see at my funeral. I'm sorry, Claire. I've got plenty of help. I've got Carmen and Connie to help out. <laughs> That's what kids are for. But I'll do anything. Wash dishes, mop floors, I'll, I'll even clean the toilet. Sorry. Never gonna find 60 bucks in two weeks. I'm so scared. Can't you just borrow the money from your parents? You're not quite getting it, Jules. The only reason my parents gave me the phone in the first place was because I promised I could handle the responsibility. I can't ask them for a loan to pay the first bill. Hey, guys, Jesse just conquered the plate spinning this afternoon. This guy could do no wrong. All seven plates in the air and not one crash. Uh, hello, excuse me. Did someone just die? Give me that. It's not a toy, you know. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Sweetheart. Good day at school? Yeah. So-so. Training go OK? Not bad. No new backflips you'd like to show us? Mum, you've been going through my stuff. Doing your washing's not going through your stuff. And this phone bill's in our name, not yours. I, I know it's a big bill, but the phone's been really useful for work. Well, I'm sure Kaz won't mind contributing. I'll give her a call. 
No, don't do that. It hasn't all been work. How much exactly? Well, actually, most of it's mine. But I'm going to pay for it, I promise. I've, I've got, like, this little business venture lined up. Really? Yeah, but I might need some initial capital, you know, to set it up. So I don't suppose I could get some advance in my pocket money. <laughs> so we agreed this phone is your responsibility. Now, if you can't pay for it, you'll lose it. Whoa. So the costumes have finally revolted. It's time for a big clean out. Everything's so boring. Just a big waste of space. I thought we were going to talk about the Tower of Chairs. Maybe start training again? Steve, let's face it. The chairs are boring. They just sit there. They're hardly going to set the show on fire. Well, I'm sure Bruno wouldn't want to hear you saying that. Not after all the work you guys did together. Yeah, well, he left, didn't he? And it, it's just not the same without him. Look, the routine's not about the chairs. It's about the performer. It's about the personality you bring to the apparatus. Come on, look at all your costumes. I see colour, imagination, vitality. That's the sort of personality you need to bring to the chairs. You think about it, okay? Do you know how many times I've been late today without my watch? And I really hate being late. I've been trying to get you the money. Are you trying to be funny? No. It's all I've got. Ow! Do you know where the last person is who messed with me? In hospital, where they're still trying to sew his arm back on. <laughs> Smile for Simo. Good on you, mate. Catch you tomorrow, okay? Gotta go visit a friend in hospital. Look, there's got to be some way for you to make money. What happened to that entrepreneurial brain of yours? Think about what people need. Food. Can't cook. Clothes. Can't sew. Transport. Can't drive. Can't drive, but I can clean. Thanks, Kit. You're a genius. Ray, alias the Invincible Warrior, will now snatch the world title from Bert Simpson, alias Total Loser. Just the people I was looking for. Yes. OK, there goes my world record. This better be good. Well, how would you guys like to earn yourselves a whole heap of cash? What do we have to do? It's fun, outdoors, working with water and lots of social interaction. Yeah, yeah, cut to the chase. It's a car wash. But not just your ordinary kind of car wash. No way! Dad makes me do that every weekend for free. Well, that's just the whole point. How many adults out there without kids? Who do you think washes their cars? They pay. Exactly how much are we talking about here? We split the profits, a dollar each per car, and I reckon we could easily do 20 cars a day. Seems a bit cheap to me. Yeah, maybe we should make it two bucks a car. No, we keep the price low. That way we turn around more cars, which means more profit. Yes! OK, count us in. So, when do we start? Who made you part of this deal? The great Swami Simo will now reveal... Rika Mortis Man! OK, you guys, scram! That my routine is sitting oh. on. Please, forgive us, lowly scum, <laughs> for parking our butts on your precious chair. They are not just chairs, they're... Leave me alone! Gladly. What side of the bed did she crawl out of? See you, Steve. Catch you tomorrow. Who am I kidding? They are just chairs. Hours of levitation not working, huh? Come on, up you get. Let's see what we can make of this. No.
Time's up, Dork Features. Where's the money? I can give it to you soon, I promise. Not good enough. I said today. But I've got a job. Honest. Ugh. Maybe you could take my watch until I get the money. That's pathetic. You're going to have to do better than that if you ever want your life back again. Honest. I'm just going to work right now. I have lots of money really soon. You've got one day. And that first payback better be good. Or else. This is so boring. We're never going to make 20 cents, let alone $20. Yeah, what happened to all the cars? Hey, could you quit being so negative? Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. People are going to come, aren't they? We're going to make money, aren't we? Well, of course. Once the word spreads, there'll be cars queued up right down the street. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I've got better things to do than sit around here all day. We can't just give up. Not yet. I have to earn some money. Or else. OK, look, what we need is a marketing strategy. Something snappy, something clever, something that'll grab their attention. There, you see. Nobody's looking at the chairs anymore. They don't exist. They're looking at you. I've got to come down. It's OK. I've got you. You're not going anywhere. You have to dig deep and find that something within yourself to make the routine special. Slow down, little old paid money. But they might. Come on, just one more day. Hang on, maybe you guys should go. Already traveling. That means more cards for me. And the more for me, it's the more money I make. Yeah. <laughs> That's good thinking, Mitch. We could make a small fortune. Well, maybe another day isn't going to kill us. But if nothing happens tomorrow, that's it. The deal is off. That's more like it. Really special guy, don't you reckon? What? Steve's a really special guy. Oh yeah, he's a great guy. I mean, he really cares. He's helped me get a whole new perspective of my part in the circus. Yeah, quite. But not only that, I think he's really talented. Probably even as much as Bruno. Jules, is there a point to all this? Just pointing out how lucky we are to have Steve around. That's all. Five bucks for you and five bucks for me. Guys, we've run out of soap. So go and get some more. Welcome to the mobile car wash. Six dollars buys you the cleanest car in town. That's six dollars a car. Thank you very much. If you'd just like to drive forward, the team will be with you shortly. What are you doing there? We ran out of soap. I'm coming! Welcome to the mobile car wash. Six dollars buys you the cleanest car in town. 
say six stars between the four of us. Why? Well, if, if Taylor's charging six dollars a car, that's more than a dollar each, isn't it? Do you know how much she's charging? She only said a dollar each. I thought it'd be four dollars. Excuse me, sir. How much exactly did you pay for this service? Oh, sorry, Simo. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well, what did you think of the great Swami Simo? Come on, tell me what you think. I reckon we could do something similar. You know, just the three of us. A big comedy act routine. What do you think? Sounds great, but can we please talk about this later? I'm in a bit of a hurry. What's the big hurry? <sighs> well, Steve insists we work more on the chairs. Again? Yeah, he reckons I'm ready to go to the next level. Isn't that great? You know, a month ago, if someone had said to me I'd be this far advanced, I would have just laughed at them. Really? He just makes it seem so easy. I don't know what it is, he makes me feel confident. Nothing's impossible. Hey, you know what would be really great? If he could be in the routine. Him and me together. Yeah, why not? Maybe there's a way he can be. Simo? Simo? Hey! What, what do you think you're doing? Split down the middle, you said eagle chairs. We've been working all day for you and you've been ripping us off. You've been charging six bucks and only paying us one. Hey, I'm the brains behind this business. If I wasn't around, you'd have nothing. We want our money, all of it. Or it'll be down squeegees. Come on, cough up. He's getting impatient. Fine. Five each. There. Satisfied? Now back to work. What about the rest of it? It should be 750 according to my calculations. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. OK, we quit. What? You can't do that! Just watch us. What about the cars? The money? I don't want to leave. Yes, you do. We're in this together. Solidarity. All right, I'm coming. Steve. I've been thinking about the routine, and I've got this idea of having, like, an assistant. What kind of assistant? Well... You know how the ring hand usually passed me the chairs and stuff during the act? Well, I thought he could be a performer too. Someone to work with me and maybe develop a comedy side to the routine. What do you think? I think it's an excellent idea. You got someone in mind? Oh yeah, the perfect person. That's great, Mrs Carlton. And if all your members could support our car work, show support for the local pit. OK, thanks. Bye. OK, well, that's the Lions Club, the Bowlers Club, the Golfers Club and the Football Club. And they all said they'll tell their members. We've got to get out of here. It's chaos. Taya is going to be so sorry she ever messed with us. Boy, people do strange things when it comes to a fast buck. Hi, guys. Hi, Kaz. Bye, Kaz. Mitch, Ooh, hot chips. Mmm, my favourite. You don't mind, do you? Here. Take it. Four dollars. We did have five, but you're eating the other one. You know what you need on these chips? Sauce. It's all we made, so I guess you're just going to have to torch me. Yep. I think I will. Then again, maybe I won't. Maybe there's something else you could bring me. Mitch, it's a beautiful day out there. Aren't you feeling well? Oh, no, I'm fine. I was just, um... Getting one of my marbles for a friend. Go, go now. Big game on. What are you doing here? Don't mind us. Just enjoying the scenery. 
It's a free country. Yeah, it won't be long. Looks like a hot one out there. Sure does. Drink, Dallas. You could at least give me a hand. Oh, no, you are quite happy for us to quit. Remember? I think we'll just enjoy our retirement. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Yep, wouldn't like to be out there by myself today. Point your toes. Nice straight back. Lift up out of the shoulders. That's good. You're not going to fall. I've got you. Just relax. Doing really well. Oh, I don't know. My arms seem to shake and it seems like everything's about to collapse. Maybe you could show me how. Show me what I'm doing wrong. Sure. I need your expertise with uh, some rigging. Can you please give me a hand? No worries. Hey, Simo, can you uh, give Jules a hand, please? Yeah, mate. No worries. Tell him about your assistant idea. Oh, it's all right, Simo. I'm finished for today anyway. Hey, where'd you get this from? I... My sister gave it to me. Pretty impressive. So we've now. Right. I, not so fast. You know, you've shown a lot of potential. I think you and I might have a few more things to discuss. Or else. All right! All right! I'm coming! I've only got one pair of hands. This is your doing, isn't it? Was under her windscreen. We were just trying to help. Thought you'd be grateful. OK, look. Cut the smart Alex stuff. You can have your jobs back and no hard feelings. Sounds so tempting. Unfortunately, we're quite busy today. Oh, come on, please. I can't keep up on my own. I'll split the profits 50 50. We were thinking equal thirds. 60 40. Another drink, Bert? All right. This is daylight robbery. Equal thirds. And maybe an apology. Don't push your luck. All right, I'm sorry. Satisfied? Boy, people do strange things when it comes to cash. Mm. 